If you wanted to get an H-1B visa renewed today, what would you have to do? Let me tell you. You would have to visit your home country, fly down back to India in most cases if you're from India. You'll have to book an appointment. That means you need a slot to be able to do that, right? So you go onto the US Travel Docs website, you try to book a slot. And of course, we all know how that goes. <laughs> and finally, once all of that is done, you'll have to get the renewal stamp from the embassy, of course, or the, or the consulate. And once you get that, then you fly back to the US. That was the process until now, if you wanted to get an H-1B visa renewed. But what is the problem in this process? Number one, it's expensive. You need a visa renewal, you need a stamp on your passport, no problem, spend 100,000 rupees, go back home, come, uh, you know, and then uh, once you're home, then basically book a slot and, you know, pay the fee and then just wait over there. Maybe you don't have a house in your home country anymore, you spend hotel expenses, you keep waiting, and then, of course, once you get the stamp, then you fly back. All this is very expensive. Number two, long wait times. Of course, after COVID, the wait times for some visas have even gone up to one, one and a half years. It's crazy out there how long it can take to get one US visa appointment. And to top it off, I'm gonna throw in a bonus over there, and that is that if you came back to your country, now, until you get the visa renewed and stamped on your visa, uh, on your passport, you cannot go, by the way, you have to stay in your home country. No, they won't allow you to fly again because your, your, your H-1B needs renewal. Hence, it was quite difficult until now to get this visa renewed. Now, hold on, this is changing. Here comes the domestic visa renewal policy. While this has been in the work for years, this is finally when we have started implementation of it as for the US. And this policy essentially says that, no, you don't need to fly back to your home country. You stay right where you are, you stay in the US. And what you do is you mail your passport to the State Department, that's it. You mail it to them, it reaches their mailbox, they stamp it, they mail it back to you. As simple as that. Well, that would be great, right? That would be sort of like a dream. But here's some limitations. Right now, they're only starting a pilot program. Pilot program is like a test run, you know, it's just a starting run. They're seeing if it works out. So right now, only 20,000 visas will be processed from within the US. And they start somewhere on mid-December, they aim to finish off by February. And then once all of that is done and they see that there's no problems in the program, everything's smooth sailing, then they move on to basically opening more and more slots up to do this within the US itself. And of course, that's going to happen later in February 2024 or later, of course, but this, con this is going to get expanded to more visa types, not just the H-1B, you can do it for more visa types in the future as well. So that's what's going on. Now, what is the exact process, right? We need to know exactly everything. So, well, we're in this video, we're going to do that. So they're going to follow a selection process. What is a selection process? That means that from, you know, certain criteria, basically what they're going to do is they're going to say, okay, you can actually send us the, the passport for renewal, but you cannot. But I don't know the criteria yet because it's not been defined. It's going to happen from mid-December, but whatever the criteria, they're going to select some, or maybe you apply and then, you know, they do a lottery system, whatever. And if you're selected, if you get the invitation to apply, whatever, right, you basically send your passport to the US State Department and they mail it to you back. You receive it with the stamp. Hence, travel outside of the US is really not needed anymore if you are selected. From my perspective and from what's mentioned on various online forums, what we can tell you is that Indians are gonna benefit the most out of this and that's quite obvious, but it's important to mention. There's going to be more updates on this story, so make sure that you're following me on Instagram. I'll keep you updated on what's going on. I know it's a hot topic, it's been going on and we posted more about this in the last couple of days even when this was not concrete, but now this is finally concrete, so I made a YouTube video, but more updates will be coming, and I'll be posting them on YouTube as well, so make sure you subscribe over here, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, and take care until that time.